Shaggy Shaggy. Shaggy Shaggy. Blue Krylon. Is it Krylon? No, it's Rust Oleum. Oleum. We're going with the old Rust Oleum. Gentle, light, mm -hmm. don't go crazy. All right, now we let it dry for a bit. Fucking ready. <laughs> so Chris uh, jumped a little bit of a gun and started peeling before I had the camera ready. It's my fault, I had to walk to the mailbox. Hell yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yep. yep. Right. Told you it pops out like a little X. Right. Look at those little cute little X's. Look at that. What you want done, son. <laughs> now we got a little bit of overspray on the back side of the wall here. But we can easily get rid of that. That blue there that, that caught on the corner. Uh, you know, you uh, see yeah, this line. Right. And there's a little bit that kind of yeah. might have strung off of the tape. But it'll probably pull right off. Yeah. So. I'm not too worried about it. Well, again, we clear coated the thing before we put it on there, and oh, yeah. when you wipe that off. it should wipe right off. Yep. You know, if if we wanted to wipe that blue off there, we probably could right now, real easy. Yep. Uh, but we're gonna let that dry, and then we're gonna apply the second coat or the second stencil, and damn, that looks really good. It does. Not to say that the original ones you did didn't, <laughs> but they weren't near as crisp as that bad boy yep. is. They, they were right. just they were just kind of fluffy and. Yep. Uh, the size was a little off because of you know you, you copied from an original one that was gross and old and <laughs> stretched yeah. and busted and you half guessed a couple of them and like okay that's gonna look damn near fantastic though and I loved I honestly Chris that blue rim looks fantastic on there with that tape you know what I mean like it maybe we should blue rim the whole side of the front am I going crazy that whole front just the front corner blew it off blew it like you knew it <laughs> maybe we should do the reverse on it blue with white speckles flying through it huh is that ballsy uh, yeah that's ballsy, ballsy. Is, people, be a million dollar i might get hated on again by the community <laughs> i'm good at getting hated on i'm trying to do this one right you guys and make it at least as nice as it was new and and if not better you know what i mean all that hate i got <laughs> one of these days you guys will respect my authority <laughs> My mind raced, and I thought, what could I do? <laughs> and I knew there was no help, no help from you. <laughs> Shadow of the Ghost. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I put the camera on myself at that point. That's probably horrifying. Oh, I feel like I'm at a concert. The thunder of the <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll stop. <laughs> sure, I'm f***ing somebody off in the neighborhood. Yeah, hell, that's always Is that Bon thing. Scott? No, he's dead. <laughs> that would have been Brian Johnson, but it's cool. He's not here either. Snap all over there on Classic Drive, being a moron. My, my drum noises are great, too. They are. The whole damn band. I got the whole band in my mouth, you guys. <laughs> like so many groupies in Japan. Exactly. <laughs> Got a mouthful of ACDC over here. <laughs> what do you think the dry time is on that? A good 20? Mm, yeah. 30 Probably minutes? Than today. I mean, it's hot, as, it's hot as balls out here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the sun, I'm going to show you guys the sun. It's going to suck if you look at this image. It's right there above us, killing everything. The uh, the front has uh, had another coat of white put on it. We might, might slap one more, just to thicken it up a little bit more, and then sprinkle some more blues on it, and then the body is ready to get its stencil job done too. I think we can get it all done today, Chris. I, I'm not gonna. I don't want to say things out loud that can't come true, but by God, it's not raining. It does not. A cloud in the sky and it's in the afternoon so i think we can handle this today i think we got it and we'll have another one done and ready to be uh moved on in the world to someone who appreciates it and loves it and wants it in their life and not to say that i don't appreciate it and love it and want it in my life but i just i got no room for it I, i'm here to buy things fix them and sell them that's what's up <laughs> Oops.
Wait a minute. Oh yeah. Don't, don't cut that bad boy. Uh -uh. And don't cut the square off. Come on, there we go. We'll go go above the square. Left handed cutting. <laughs> Not the best. Alright. Yeah, so line that square up perfectly. Perfect. Yeah. Alright, set yours in place before I press this down. Is this good? That's where I want it. Okay. Good? Yeah. Alright. Where do I put this? Oh. I'm holding it again. Alright. Now we're going to pull the bottom off it. down the ultimate rub down That is just fine. Don't matter about that bubble. Looks good to me, dog. All right. I like it. It's got the, that's the traps, I think that's what they're talking about, built in, it's like these. Ah, uh, so then that's how you get perfectly your edged up. Without the gaps that I had in mind. Mm-hmm. Not bad. Pretty brilliant. Brilliant. I digs it. So we've uh, let it dry and we're going to check. What do you think there, Chris? All right. It's pretty brown. Yeah, I think it's good. I, I think one coat of that was nice. Yep. Pull it off. Let's see. I'll let you do the honors. You're the... <laughs> I can f blame you. <laughs> I can blame you if it goes wrong. Uh, the burpings. There's no brown. Look, look at that's the other thing too is the stencil is paint proof. You know what I mean? Like we had so much issue with paint pull through on that other thing. Yeah. Take that with it. Yeah. The edging, the edging gives it like a depth <laughs> around that brown and the blue at the on the face and the ear. Yep. We got a little bit of a tear. That looks like somebody cared about it, did it? <laughs> <laughs> we got a little bit of tacky. For, we pulled a little bit of the blue up here. Yeah. Ah, uh, dang it. So then, on the next one, we let the blue dry a little longer than we did. Maybe, maybe just don't do it as thick, but we did it, you know, we did a do, double blue. So, we can, we can maybe touch that up with a little airbrush. Yeah. Fix it up. But God, that looks great. Yes, it does. Looks fantastic, please. The Roman Emperor of Awesome. <laughs> I am fantastic, please. What is that stuff? Mineral spirits. Mineral spirits. 
Alright, so it's dead guys? <laughs> yep. Dead. It's a bottle full of dead guys. Dead rock. Dead rocks. What exactly is mineral spirits, Chris? Do you know? I do not know. It's a solvent. Uh, hmm. You would think a guy who listens to Tool would know <laughs> what a mineral spirit was. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't know how Tool. Tool friend. I just like that T-shirt and I wanted to show it real Thank quick, you. so I brought it in. Oh, it's conversation. Damn it. Damn, that looks good, Chris. Thank you, sir. I like the little ridge around. You know what I'm saying? Like the ridge around his face. Yeah. And that ear because of the the way that trap is built <clears throat> that's yeah. cool as hell it's like a it's almost like a thir thir three dimensional mm -hmm. lift yeah that's cool pinball pimp Shout pimpity out. pimp pimp it's hard to squeegee without a squeegee chris you'll take that squidge uh -oh. <laughs> Kevin Johnson Davis Coggy. Yep, sorry. Boom, bop, bop, ba doom, bop, 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 Something's going on out here today. This is the wackiest sing along <laughs> stenciling job you'll ever witness. You want to squeeze you? I'm going gonna, gonna to let y'all uh, in your minds imagine what this looks like when we do it, but I'm going to help him do this. Or Yep. You don't have to show me doing it first, you know. <laughs> you, can zoom, process. you can zoom in closer on the actual what I'm doing. You know, more of a Discovery Channel esque. Right. How is it made? It's made with a big mess of tape if Kevin does it. Kevin. What? Terrible? No. You don't like my tape job? I love it. You talking shit about my tape job, dog? <laughs> I think you almost the whole time on that one missed corner. <laughs> nice work. We'll go ahead and do the tops. Tops and tails. Yeah, might as well. So shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your blue paint. <laughs> Shake your blue paint. Spray, spray, spray. Gently spray. Gently spray your blue paint. So it don't go crazy. Try not to get too close so we don't make a blue camera lens. Yeah, I was gonna say the butt of that hat, it can take it and it'll like getting it. Oh, it'll thank you for the for the dinner too. You didn't have to take me to dinner. <laughs> yeah, I did, baby. All right, I like it. gorgeous. Let it dry. All right. The peeling of the tape. The taping of the peel. Maybe this will pull off some of that rust. We have a little spot of rust that we saw on the back side of this thing after we had flipped it over. We did not, like idiots, put a towel down on this. We were like, let's protect it from the ground with this crate. And uh, yeah, that was a good idea. But it's an old rusty crate and we got some rust on. You'll see it from the pallet, I think. <laughs> You'll see it when it pulls up here. How gorgeous. It almost looks like rubber, like, Mm -hmm. When the paint gets dried right, you know what I mean? Like, or when it's at a right yeah. gloss, it's got a rubbery quality to it. So like right there it's like a two rusty nails on the bottom of this damn thing kind of rusted on the side of it and we got to clean that off touch it up but man that looks good buddy i agree and we'll just let it dry and we'll let it sit for what another 10 minutes 15 minutes yeah 
That first time was about 10 minutes of letting it dry before we pulled the stencil off. And uh, we noticed we had just a little bit of pull up on the blue on the other side uh, that we're going to have to touch up with a airbrush. But uh, Chris is a... I call him a master artist. I don't give a fuck what you people call him. This is my buddy. This is Chris. And he paints the shit out of things, dude. I'll answer to anything. He'll answer to anything. <laughs> but, uh, you know, if you've got 10,000 hours in something, you're a fucking master of it, right? And you've been painting how long? Your whole life. Yeah. Doing things, drawing and doing things. You've got 10,000 hours in. <laughs> Maybe no real formal training, but who cares? Formal training's for the birds. You waste a lot of money on that thing I could do by myself. <laughs> Who's over here? Yeah. So we're going to retouch up the blue fleckening. The fleckening? Yeah. The fleckenings. And, uh, you know, let's not go nuts, but let's not go not nuts. <laughs> you might even throw some more in that top. Yeah, that spiced it up. Right. Yeah, I think we're going to have to get a better technique eventually because yeah. I'm going to show the people right now. Uh, on this absolutely gorgeous machine here, and you can see it on the future spot too. You really couldn't see these speckles on the original Hocus Pocus paint job though. I mean, it was so gross. But uh, they're all pretty uniform. The biggest you're going to see are like that size. You know, uh, we've, we've overshot the runway with our attack. A splattering but it also gives it its own kind of look and it's a little bit more uh, Jackson Pollocky the way we've done it it's a little bit more sp splatter paint you know that you can actually see so or, or it stands out a little more and you know honestly we could go a little bit more on both sides I don't think it's gonna hurt it but to go ahead and put stencils on is gonna pull it right back off today so we're not gonna do that the sides are ready to get stenciled and uh, the front is now gonna dry up and We'll clear it and we'll stencil it too to, at some point, hopefully tonight. It's possibly it's possible. Ah. But uh, yeah, we're letting the paint dry on the blue over there for right now. Then we'll get brown down on that and that the top will be done. Yep. And ready to be back with this glass. And, and uh, I got the Paul and uh, ratchet crank thing that I ordered today in. The last part to fix the score motor. So it's ready. I should be able to get the player unit back together and have this game playing 100%. <clears throat> maybe not tonight let everything dry and sit for a couple days before I go messing around near it you know we're gonna clear coat everything and let it look good yeah you think so what do you think dead flip meow meow what are you thinking I'm gonna get an interview with the cat real quick you guys dead flip you tell me your theory Oh yeah? Is that their theories? Is that your theories about the thing? What do you think we should do? I think you should uh, help me off this truck, Dad. I'm getting out of here. This cat is just a killer. She runs around the house all day long eating lizards and cicadas lately and giant bugs and she's probably tracking something right now that she's been on. Oh, nope. She's rolling around our back. Never mind. She's a cat. Giant stencil applied. Wasn't nearly as uh, taxing and daunting as we thought it might be. Kind of went on there really nice. And Chris is having at it. You really, I need to zoom more than I need to get close. <laughs> yeah, probably. Doesn't help me spray it right at you. No, but I love the smell of spray paint. Is that, it's probably a bad thing, right? Probably. Well, I mean, it's only bad if you hook it. <laughs> you can like it, just don't. It's like don't gasoline, do it. too. I love the smell of gasoline, too. Yeah. My buddy Taylor in high school had this old 88, Delta 88 hoopty that he drove around. It was like a 78. It was huge. It was like a giant four-door, you know, cop car. Giant, ridiculous uh -huh. uh, hoopty. And uh, he spilled a gas can in the back of that car in the back seat, and it always smelled like gasoline in his car, and I loved the smell of that car. <laughs> you probably, it was, We were all probably getting a little bit high from the fumes in the back seat of Taylor's car. 
I heard you can do that. I also heard it's not recommended. Gorgeous. Yeah, it's not recommended. <laughs> Kids, don't try that. Don't out. pay any attention to Captain Retro. <laughs> Have at you, good sir. That got it. Save. Save it. Use it again. Here, hand me the blue tape. I'll save it. For the next side, dog. Uh, yeah. Conservation of tape. <laughs> That's the third level. Uh, physics. Thermodynamics. Thermodynamics. <laughs> Did it come around the flower okay? Yep. We got that bolt in there that we left the bolts in. Which I'm pretty sure they're left in from the factory. I could be wrong. It might get painted before the bolts get in it, but I doubt it. They probably build the insides of it and then they paint it. Gonna get a copyright strike on this episode because I'm gonna have to pipe in the theme song from that wrestler <laughs> that goes, Glorious! I will be there, I will be there till I'm victorious! I forget what it is, but it's a good song. Glorious! No, I won't give in, I won't give in till I'm victorious! And I will defend, I will defend! Bunny's tail. Little bunny rabbit tail. Bunny rabbit's leg. Big air bubble. But don't really matter. It's in the right spot. What you really want to get is around the edges of the stencil in the right spot and make sure it's on there. We're not going to have any knobs on this side to mess with these flowers either because those were for the chime box on the inside wall. Yeah, I can't. You got it. You're smart. Flip the button. We're gonna go ahead and do the front uh, at the same time that we do the left hand and final side that we did, or that we've laid down. We've got the blue ready to go on it, but we're gonna go ahead and do this blue too and kill two birds with one mighty stone. We're just going to try and go as gently as we can and not do too much spray paint so we don't get a bunch of dripping, but we should be good. It's not a whole lot of paint going on there, so there's not a lot of, you know, there's three little chunks. You can see that little area, that little area, and the top little area. The, the brown is going to get more paint on it, but the brown seemed to be a thicker paint and was a well, one coat wonder kind of action, and it was, you know, coating really nice and evenly and doing its job, so I'm not worried about the brown as much as I was the blue. You're attached to the top one too now though. You'll get it when you get that pulled off there. Yeah. There you go. Those are gonna form a nice little buttress against each other. Yeah. The Buttress of Windsor, I think is a official title. Oh yeah? I don't think that's true. <laughs> How does one become a buttress? I'm not sure. <laughs> is that like a female version of a butler? It's some type of fort. Part of a fort, I think. <laughs> the, 
It's a big wall to buttress. Yeah. I'm not sure what the hell it is, but my buddy, you know, John Michael. John Michael's hair, he used to, we used to call his hair the buttress because the front of it was so stiff and, like, <laughs> so, solid. Right. It's something about, like, a fortification, you know what I mean? Yeah. I blew, I'm not yeah. sure, but making fun of his hair. You know, like, I got room to make fun of anybody's hair. I got zero hair, but I'd be like, look at that buttress on your head, boy. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> thing is stiff. It is now nighttime. We have lost all of our sunlight, but we are on the final stretch. We've done a lot of hanging out and sitting around and messing around too, you know, let, let, letting around. stuff dry. You got to let it dry thoroughly and I don't want to go crazy with it. So we're doing it right. We're doing it slow. We're taking it easy. The Eagles taught me well. Uh-oh, are we oh, getting... It's for me. From, the ang from the angle or the... Off. Yeah. Getting low. Getting low. Menus, low. It's got dry paint in the nozzle. Probably a hundred different reasons. We'll get there, damn it. We're gonna get it. We only bought the one can. <laughs> but we've done stencils now with it twice. Yeah. An entire machine twice. Full sets. And more than one coat. So I'm pretty impressed with that can of blue, to be quite honest with you. It's gone, gone pretty far away. Yeah. All right, calm down. Let's go to the front. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let me get... Well, don't step on the stencil. Let me grab a piece of cardboard or something just to plug the hole. And I've also did some spray painting with... Uh, I originally spray painted the lock bars before I decided to go out there and powder coat them. So oh, yeah. they got used then too. Right. All right. Good. Doing the top first? Yep. My damn camera's gonna get blued. My phone. Oh man, you should have let me go down there. I didn't know. Oh, hang on. I was gonna yeah. block you at the bottom. It's all right. You got it already? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> there you go, ding. That's nice. <laughs> ding dong, the witch is dead. Oh. Oh, shit. Hold on. Yep. Yeah, both sides. What are you doing? You aren't doing it. Bottom first. I thought you only did two. And I was like, I think there's three things on there. There is. All right. Let it dry. Yep. A wee bit. Blue. Yeah, blue made it. And the blue made it through the whole yep. shebang twice. Like I'm going to put that can on a shelf. <laughs> it's the uh, MVP of this, <laughs> this job. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Uh, she really did come out absolutely gorgeous. I couldn't be prouder. I couldn't be happier with what happened. Uh, we had a few little mess ups here and there, a couple little touch ups we have to do. She's now sitting with clear coat on her, drying and waiting to get put back together fully and played. But I couldn't help putting the glass back in in the play field. It just looked naked without it. The next thing to touch up is the play field paint. Stick around. Get there, get there.